my question to you, Tammy, is when you say tobacco free campus, does that mean if I have a child here at the University of Lowell and I come onto campus and I have a package of cigarettes in my pocket? That means I am in violation of the policy and I will be ordered off campus? Is that what that means? Would you please explain that to me? No, if you have a package of cigarettes in your pocket or in your purse or anything, you would be fine. It was if you were smoking cigarettes, that's so that would not it's not tobacco-free. You're allowed to have tobacco on the campus, but you cannot smoke. Is that correct? It's tobacco usage, so if you're using a tobacco product, that would be yes. But you would be able to possess the tobacco product on you campus. You could have it in your possession, yes. You just could be participating in it. Yeah. Hi, um, so I'm a smoker, yeah. so if there's a tobacco free campus, where should I go smoke? Should I go smoke outside at night in case I get wrong or by a chance of that? What should I do? Um, yes, if the policy was implemented, there would not be smoking allowed on campus, but we're not encouraging anyone to go out alone at night, especially with all the recent crime rate, but we're not asking you to walk a few miles off campus. Our campuses, we're very fortunate to have three small campuses, so you have the opportunity just to walk across the street. Uh, why is health concern uh, so concentrated on the back uh, How about fast food, uh, how about all those leading causes of childhood obesity? Why is it, I mean, to a degree, I, uh, it strikes me as in, like, this is a harassment for the back of the back of we're really not, as we said, we're really not trying to harass people who use tobacco. We're trying to be a helping hand. We're trying to implement the cessation <laughs> programs that our university does not have. And statistics do show that the universities that do implement a tobacco-free policy, the smoking usage at their school has gone down. So what we're really trying to do is help smokers, help people who use tobacco products. We're not trying to harm or target anyone at all. It triggers my that makes it hard for me to breathe. So when I'm walking into um, classes here, I have to walk through a cloud of smoke, and then I have to sit in class in weeks because I can't breathe. How are you, if this is passed, how are we going to stop people from sitting in the doorways and just smoking and forcing people who have a health condition that it aggravates to walk through? Like, how do you actually stop them? That's what I'm wondering. Well, right now what the policy is is you cannot smoke within 25 feet of every building and I don't think that policy is very strictly enforced because there is that gray area of what exactly is 25 feet, there's no markings of it. So what we're hoping to do is we haven't um, nailed down the administration just because the policy hasn't been passed yet of how it would be enforced but how we're thinking about it is that we have talked to many other schools in the area and universities that are similar to us and how that they're implementing it and we're planning on starting a big campaign with signs, very friendly signs that say um, UMass Lowell is a tobacco free <coughs> campus and then hopefully throughout the next few years it becomes a social norm where maybe the first year there are still a few smokers but then throughout the next few years it just becomes a common thing on our campus and we don't allow that here. Well you just said that if we want to smoke we want a small campus we go across the street. The canal over there is federal land so you can still smoke there, it's not for university. How does that really affect other people? We're still basically in the same area. So what really changes there? It's not like it's really going to stop secondhand smoke. Well, if we do implement the policy, we're really hoping, and statistics do show that less people are going to um, people are going to stop start quitting smoking just because it'll be more difficult for you to do so. And we do recognize that this is a very addictive habit, and this is something very hard to quit. And so that's why, as I said, we're offering these materials to make this happen, and we're almost making it more difficult for this habit to continue hoping that your health and the students health at our university would get better. So it's definitely causing some controversy on campus. Uh, people are upset about the smoking ban, but I think it's actually a really good idea. It really helps. It's going to help people stop smoking and it's going to stop secondhand smoke for people that don't smoke or have asthma or other health related issues. What are the mechanics of getting this passed? Um, right now what student government is trying to show is a student initiative so that students actually want to make this policy happen. So when we first decided that we wanted to make a tobacco free policy, we looked at a bunch of universities in the area and just the problems that they were having so that we wouldn't be implemented it, we wouldn't have similar problems. And one of the biggest problems that they had was that students didn't have an involvement in the process. So what student government is trying to do is build a grassroots campaign and get feedback and hear student complaints now so that way when the policy is implemented we won't hear any complaints or anything. So what we've done is we've sent out a petition 
We have big events such as these, we have a big social media campaign going on, and we've been really getting a lot of positive feedback, and then a little bit of negative feedback, but it's good that we're getting that negative feedback because it's showing that people are aware of it, and that if this policy gets implemented, they're going to be complaining now, and we'll hear their complaints now, so that way we can um, accommodate their complaints, so when it's implemented, hopefully everyone will be happy. But we're going to take the petitions, we're sending a survey out to every single student with some incentives to take the survey, and take the petition, the statistics, and we're taking it to the Chancellor and it will be his final decision on whether or not it's implemented. Now, do you know what percent of students actually smoke now? I don't have a specific number. I know majority don't smoke, but we won't have a specific number until the survey results come back. And have you always been a non-smoker yourself? Yeah, I actually, my grandmother died of lung cancer, and my mother grew up in a house with some smokers, so she never lit a cigarette. So just in my household, even from a young age, I was kind of always taught about the harmful effects of smoking. Then when my grandmother died, when I was 13, that kind of really made me um, passionate about this cause. So when I came here, I was actually really surprised at the amount of people who smoked here. So I initially joined student government to try to make the campus smoke free, and this year it's really taken off, which is awesome.